we left off on bad terms, period, point blank. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, we can't just sit here and just talk about Slow B, the rapper. You know what I'm saying? We got to talk about Deshaun Victor. And at the end of the day, nigga, Deshaun Victor, that nigga was a family man and that nigga took care of his fucking kids. And you can't take that away from nobody. You know what I'm saying? We left off how we left off, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nigga beefing, funking, whatever the fuck the case may be. That's what young slow be. You feel me? But, see, it's another side, you know what I'm saying, that, that you know what I'm saying, ops don't see. You feel me? And I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about ops in general. Everybody who that nigga beefing with, whatever the fuck the case may be. See, it's other sides. Shut up. Man, just let that man rest. I feel like, man, once you die, that shit over with. Let the man rest. Or it's gonna be your turn next. So I'm looking at the video, right? And I'm looking at it, and I see a snake come out the nigga eye. So, you know, when motherfuckers shoot videos and shit, a motherfucker a throw blims in a video. Okay, who's the snake? What do a snake gotta do with anything? To what? Name somebody fucking with a something not. Hey, let me know. All that internet tough shit to get you shot. Get Coming out of Stockton, California today, right? Yeah, EBK Young Jock. You know what I'm saying? Man, the nigga basically, you know what I'm saying? He got a message, man, for DC Baby Draco, man. You know what I'm saying? He know he throwing blims on this story, whatever the fuck the case may be. You know, niggas feeling some type of way. It is what it is. So this is what EBK Young Jock have to say about old DC Baby Draco. <laughs> the nigga gonna say, oh yeah, and about my name, I ain't gonna play. Y'all know who y'all is. Better keep that shit on you on EBK. Bro, for one, you bitch ass nigga. Listen, I caught the blend. You know what I'm trying to say? I caught it, right? But Jock, you not finna do a goddamn thing. Straight up. Like, you literally is a bitch. Like, you can't fight, nigga. You better, you better, you would, you would wanna, you would wanna use that motherfucker. You feel me? You can't fight. I will beat your ass, nigga, literally, bro. Only a nigga that the nigga really getting under his skin. The truth hurt, huh? The truth hurt, huh? Now, now you making it seem like you didn't sacrifice the nigga. You know what I'm saying? You do, you going up right now. You ready to stoop low for old Draco? You know what I'm saying? I been told you, bro, we could link up, fight. Flashback. Won't that fade, blood? Bro, listen, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. You know, I been taking risks. You know, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, nigga. Listen, bro, I want to slap the fuck out you, bro. I want to slap the fuck out you. I want to. This is what I want to do to you, bro. I ain't going to lie. This is what I want to do to you. Look, I want to grab your neck, right? I want to open up your mouth, and I want to put it on the concrete, and I want to step on that motherfucker. I want your whole jaw to break. I End know. of flashback. I will beat your ass. I will give you an old school ass whooping, nigga. Any day of the motherfucking week. You feel me? And them niggas you around ain't finna do shit, nigga. In the, in the, in the next episode, right? Since you want to keep on capping, bro, you got pedophiles around you. And like I said, but we gonna say that for the next episode. Y'all know what happened to registered sex offenders. Y'all know if you're on Megan Law, you are out of pocket no matter what. You feel me? So these niggas need to be held accountable for their actions on what the fuck they be doing and how they be maneuvering, you know what I'm saying, in these streets. And right now, man, EBK Young Jock, you know this. We were in the studio with Soldier Boy last night. Where'd that come from? Yeah, man, that's my guy. That's so deep. You man. been a fan for a long time? 
I was, yeah, it's my, you feel me? I'm a fan of his music, no cap. Like, that's, I always listen to his music. You know? Right. Um, I always listen to his music, I ain't gonna front. But, uh, yeah, somebody, like, you know, I be going to my request sometimes to see what rappers hitting me, like, you feel me, or whatever, you right. feel me? Or who hitting me, producers or anything. You know? A fan sent me shit, like, he listening to your shit. Da, da, da. They own the deal, then they fell off. You know what I'm saying? Nigga should've stayed down with the game. And I'll get my new change tomorrow too, bitch. It's over. It's over. The first time you wasn't in uh Soldier Boy comments, man, you linked up with him. If he really liked what he heard, bruh, you know what I'm saying? He would have signed you. You linked up with the nigga. Y'all was in the studio together. If he honestly liked what you had, he would sign you. Trey B. This is how I feel about this nigga, bro. This nigga talk too much. If you want people to know your business, you know what I'm saying? You tell this nigga. The nigga don't know how to keep his mouth shut. So you know a lot of motherfuckers, man, they be asking me like, man, DC, man, how you be coming up with all this information with this trait? I mean, with the uh, EBK shit and all this shit, right? Well, I'ma tell you motherfuckers. It's because of Trey B. It's, um, there's been some videos put out by uh, DC Baby Draco. You trying to throw some allegations on your name. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, is there anything you want to say about ad addressing that shit? And yeah, that nigga creep. Bro. That nigga, I don't know. That nigga be making shit up. Like, he seen any going off some shit that I told him type shit. We get pulled over. I'm fake way sleep, though. So I'm like, we good. Like, the fuck? We don't got nothing on us. No, nothing. Like, you feel me? We not smoking. We was just smoking, too. Yeah. But I'm like, the weed gone. But whoop, the officer come to the car. He smell the weed. He find a doobie. Now I'm finna go to jail for a doobie. Yeah. They tripping. Sure. Like, that's six months. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. I'm like, all right, it's good. I'm bailing out. Doobie, what's up? Can you know? One of the bitches had a fake ID, I guess. And it went left. They like, uh, do they little research on the bitch. They like, uh. This bitch a minor type shit. But I'm like, they come tell me and bro, like, yeah, that bitch a minor. And they tell the other girl. The other girl, like, we just met her. I just met her today. Yeah. And I just met them, like, literally, like, 20 minutes before yeah. we got pulled over yeah. type like, shit. You don't really know so I'm like, are. yeah. So I'm like, the fuck? I'm like, I'm good. Even when they saying all this, I'm like, okay. Like, what the fuck? I don't know her. Like, yeah. she wasn't even here for me. Her friend bought this bitch type shit. You feel me? So, boo. They still finally even let me go. Oh, God. They finna let me go. I just start talking hella shit though. Oh, God, the officer ended up taking me to jail anyway. Like, like, oh well, you're going to jail for um for human trafficking. Not even no pimping. Not even get pimping or none of that type charge or none of that. They did DNA test, make sure I didn't touch. They did all type of shit. You feel me? Nigga, they just gave me human trafficking charge. They tried to say that I was gonna leave out of state with the girl type shit. But I'm like, the fuck. I wasn't going nowhere with them. They was driving my car, all the shit. Like, we in a little-ass, little-ass city type shit, you feel me? Yeah. And they still took me to jail anyway. But as soon as I went to the, after I bailed out, went to my first court date, they dropped that motherfucker. They was like, yeah, I don't so know. So the whole, the whole thing is got dropped anyway. Yeah. Oh, God. Damn. Oh. You saying you didn't know whatever the case may be. Now, this is when I knew that you rehearsed what you was going to say and you was waiting for this interview to even say it. This is when I knew. You said they found out she was a minor, and all of a sudden, instead of being cool, you just, just start tripping and just start going 5150, and then they just charge you with human trafficking. That is cap. Police cannot arrest you without any evidence 
or hearsay that you was pimping a minor, bro. They can't just arrest you just because you acting up and a motherfucker got a fake ID, bro. No, what happened was that female got in her feelings and snitched on your ass and did an anonymous tip, nigga, and the police followed your ass and they arrested you and they already knew what they was gonna arrest you for. Nigga, you had a warrant. Now, this is an insider between me and you, Trey B. You know you told me otherwise. Okay, you kept it real about you hollered at me and whoopty woo woop -woo. You did. We did talk. You is lying, bro. That's an insider between me and you. I know for a fact you lying, bro. So he don't want to fight? Hey, boy, don't, don't sleep. We better stay in that house, nigga. Ain't no no, bro. Ain't no no, bro. So he don't wanna fight. Man, they didn't release that nigga. EBK J Bo has been released from Stockton County Jail, man. He could stay out. The nigga finna take off from here, boy. The nigga is finna take off. I'm the voice of the streets. You know, I know everything that's going on in the trenches, nigga. You know you gotta hear it first coming from DC, baby Draco, man. 7.62, that's that SK. Dick and balls on that SK. Two twin Glocks ain't got shit on this fucking K. Housing in the front, we can meet at that back gate. Gun on my hip, I'm dressing to kill niggas. Big 40, shoot acrylic, head going, I'm hitting niggas. 30 on that bitch, she dancing like a ballerina. These niggas can't see me, something like John Cena. Pants on my head, I heard these niggas looking for me. These niggas hella fake, freezing up these niggas phony. If that nigga get hit, he ain't gonna make it cause he bony. Scaling slow nigga, watch him bleed, die slowly for Coming to you straight from the underground, part two of Why So Serious, the Joker versus the Creatures of the Night. Now, I'm not here to take anyone's sides, just an unbiased, neutral narrator painting the story that's already been told. So how do you guys feel about this saga? Is this like some real beef? Or do you guys think this is like a stunt just to get the people in tune to what's going on? Now, whatever it is, it's definitely entertaining. And like I said, it's really good for the Northern California rap scene. So with that being said, we're just gonna tune in and see what's going on. And in part three, we'll resume with the grave digger, EBK Jabo getting out of jail. And we'll speed up and just look at the current and present day events going on with the saga. So like and subscribe, cause we dropping bangers weekly. This UCK, Undercrown Kings, we out. you what would i do without you go back to ripping off mob dealers no 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 you you complete me